Two at six, the tax-free holiday weekend is quickly approaching, and figuring out what to buy can be a little confusing. WBZ's Tiffany Chan spoke to an expert who breaks down which items to get now. The price of just about everything has gone up, so experts say shoppers should be looking at items that have been notoriously hard to get over the past year because of supply chain issues. So anything with a microchip like laptops, also appliances, and furniture. I want a big TV, so I'm hoping to get a TV this year. If you're in the market for some big ticket items, this weekend, August 13th and 14th, is an ideal time to splurge. The state is temporarily waiving the six and a quarter percent sales tax on most items under $2,500 during the slowest shopping month of the year. It gets people back into the stores and back shopping. Bouncing back from the pandemic, Retailers Association of Massachusetts President John Hurst says shoppers are facing a new normal this year, inflation. No matter what you're buying the, the, these years, it's going to cost more this year than a, a year ago. Consumers are feeling the financial pressures at every turn, from groceries to fuel. Yadira Medina is thinking twice before spending. I don't want to go out and spend my money if I don't have to. Supply chain issues have eased up, bringing more products to the shelves compared to last year. The savings experts at Retail Me Not say shoppers should look at items that have been hard to find in recent months. Anything with a chip in it. So um, a lot of those issues have abated somewhat. Um, so people are definitely in the market for some of those um, bigger electronic items, whether that be a computer, a laptop, or a television. And stack your savings to get the most of of every dollar. So look at, at dis discounts beyond the sales tax uh, discount. Now retail experts say shoppers should not forget the smaller mom and pop stores along main streets because they need a lot of help too, especially after the pandemic. From Watertown, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.